welcome to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little intro video that I did. Um, I wanted to show you guys what I was doing before I just jumped in because I feel like sometimes my intros get really long for no reason. <laughs> so as you guys saw, we're going to be doing another Jacko, lam Jacko Lantern look. And today we're going to be doing a little bit something a little more elaborate than just the eye look that I did last week. If you didn't catch that video, you can click the link here. I do have a reference picture just because I wasn't completely sure what I wanted to do or like how far I wanted to go. This is the picture I'm going to be focusing on and I just found this on Pinterest. I think all I did was type in Jacko Lantern makeup or something like that. I'm going to be using this blue squid face paint palette that I got on Amazon. It's a whole kit that comes with the face paint palette, of course. It comes with extra um, black and white face paints individually. It also comes with glitter, silver, and gold. It comes with sponges and it also comes with a set of paint brushes. Oh, last but not least, it also comes with a bunch of stencils that you can use um, on your face or wherever you're painting, so that's really cool. Uh, another thing that's actually kind of cool about these is that each paint color actually has its own lid. So if you're dipping into one color with like a big brush, um, you don't mess up the other colors or like accidentally dip in and then get a paint color that you don't want. So I thought that was really cool. So let me stop rambling and let's get started. I'm going to start off with the black. I'm just going to spray some water in there and start painting. I think I'm going to start with the lips because that might be the hardest part for me personally. So I just drew these two lines just to get kind of like a center line and then I'm going to like base the triangles off of those. Okay, so this looks really bad. This is just the outline, I promise. <laughs> Once I fill it in, it's gonna look so much better. So that's just what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be filling this in, and uh, I'll be right back. Not gonna lie, trying to make a straight line on this side of my nose was the hardest thing ever and I don't know why. Now that that's done, we're gonna move on to the eyes and it's basically just gonna be two triangles to be honest. Okay, so I originally put two 
dots here and here but I realized that's kind of like cutting into my eye so I actually made them lower and put them here so when I draw the line it like goes straight across Okay, so I'm almost done filling in this bottom portion. I think I'm going to use my gel eyeliner instead of the paint because it says it's non-toxic, but I just don't want it that close to my eyes. So I'm going to fill that in with eyeliner a little bit later. Okay, so my camera died, but all I did was kind of um, fill in the triangles and I cleaned up a little bit of like my lines. And then one thing I did was I grabbed an eyeshadow brush and I set everything with a black eyeshadow. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip into the yellow paint and I'm gonna fill in these uh, triangles to kind of make it look like a jack-o'-lantern that has like a candle inside. Okay, now that I have that done, I'm actually going to let it set a little bit so I don't have like as many creases um, on my eyelid. Okay, so I let the yellow set and then I also grabbed some yellow eyeshadow from my palette and I set that because it was, even once it was dry, it kept creasing. So I just did the eyeshadow to help that stop. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the, like the orange accents under the eye, kind of like a drip effect. I literally feel like I just ruined it and I'm going to have to do this over again. I'm so upset right now. I'm gonna see what it looks like with my glasses, and if I don't like it, I'm redoing the eyes. Oh my god, I just look like a clown. Like, you guys, I wanna die right now. That looks so ugly. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna wipe this off, do it again, and I'll be right back.
Okay, so I'm just creating these like little zigzags at the bottom because honestly I was too lazy to touch up my makeup for the like 10,000th time. So I was just creating like little lightning bolts, like creating little Z's. Okay, and we are done. So this is the finished look that took a lot longer than I expected. This is not really the original picture either because I just suck. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Oh, you know what? Let me go change and make it like extra special. Hold on. Okay, so all I did was put on a black scarf just so that I can have a little bit of something. Um, one thing I would recommend is maybe making your eyes all black instead of yellow. The yellow was something I'm trying. Don't know if I love it, but... Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned a few things. Um, if you have any tips or tricks for me, please leave it down below in the comments. And um, yeah, I will see you guys in part three of this jack-o'-lantern uh, series. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Comment any advice, tips, questions that you may have. And don't, I think I already said subscribe and like this video if you liked it. Follow me on Instagram, it's linked in the description below. Bye.